Hi everyone, it's Lehman with Lace Covered Skies and today you have a different view from me. Um, we're going to be doing a little craft with me. I've attempted this once before and it was super hard because I wasn't prepared at all and I got nothing done. <laughs> so today I'm going to be working on a specific project and I've kind of prepped some things so that I'm not just looking for things throughout the whole video. But you're basically over my work desk. Usually when I film haul videos or flip throughs, I am at a light box that I made myself. But today, you're at my craft table. So the lighting's going to be a little bit different. And I hope it's okay. Let me know in the comments if this lighting is okay. Alright, so today, I'm standing. But I'm going to go ahead and sit down right now. And hopefully the volume will still be okay. Alright, so I am going to be making some of these tags. And they, I use them as pockets or as um, journaling spots. And I wanted to make these because I had so much sewing tissue paper. Like I have all this right here and I haven't even used that many of my, um, my sewing patterns. So I have the tissue paper and then I have this. And another thing I wanted to use up, what I'm trying to do now is use up a lot of my things because I'm accumulating a lot of things and that's why I'm doing this video and that's why I was trying to think of like a project I could do. But another thing I have a lot of are index cards, like a ton. So I'm going to be using index cards, um, sewing pattern paper, scraps of fabric that I just have right here. And I will be using ads. So this is probably the one thing that I'm not trying to use up because I don't, I mean, I have a lot of it, but uh, I kind of hoard these. <laughs> so I will be sacrificing that, but I pulled this. So I also wanted to show you, um, so you know, pattern paper basically is just pattern paper, right? But I was looking through one of mine and I found this, which I was really surprised to find because it's so pretty. I don't even know where it came from. But it has these beautiful images on here and it's on tissue paper so it can be Mod Podged onto something. And even the text on this would be cool use. So when you have pattern paper, <clears throat> don't just assume that there's nothing else in there because I was really surprised to find this. And this is probably from a 1970 pattern because it says here 1870 comes alive in 1970. So just kind of watch out for that. I'm going to save this for a more vintage project. Because right now I'm working on a retro journal, which is pretty much all I do. <laughs> um, so I pulled this because I needed more of this type of paper for this project. And <clears throat> I looked inside and I saw that the tissue paper was white. So that's, well, it's yellow right here. And then it's white. So that's interesting. So it probably turned yellow. But this is, I'm gonna add this to my pile. And this is mainly what I'm gonna use for these tags right here that I'm particularly working on today. 
I will be using these parts, but I won't be using this. I'm going to save this for another project. So let's get this out of the way. That's it. There's two of them in here. Okay. So I'm going to <clears throat> save this part of it. Make sure I'm in frame. Okay. So I'm going to go ahead and just tear this away. And I'll go ahead and use this up first. So it basically starts out with this and then I'll take a piece of this and sew it onto the index card and either I'll do that or I'll use book paper around the index card and then I'll wrap it with tissue paper and then put a piece of fabric here and then sew around. The main reason why I put this fabric here is because when you glue down, you can make sure the edges are secure, but when you're sewing, there's gonna be like a little bit of a lip left. So that's why I put the fabric. That way, if it is a pocket, pocket let's say, when you tug things in, it doesn't get stuck in like tugging on the edges. So it'll just go in. So, let me just, this is what I usually do. And I'm probably, I don't want to bring my sewing machine here. My sewing machine is just, is just to my left hand side, but I don't want to, I don't want to move it onto my desk right now because I have way too much on my desk. So I think I'm just going to prep all this and then sew it later. So. so I'm just going to cut a few of these. I like using my paper cutter which is very old. I really need to get a new one, but I'm sticking with it for now. Okay. When I use the paper cutter, I really like to get the, the finished edge that came from the manufacturer or whatever, because that's more straight so I can line it up. Because I don't know why when I cut paper, it has to be a straight edge and lined up against your or else it just gets crooked. See, like, I'd rather have this on the edge. So I'll turn this this way. Okay, I'm going to turn it this way. Um, you probably can't even see me. <laughs> okay. Then what I'm going to do is set this aside so that I can go and sew it later. And I'll look for the best side. So this has color. I'll choose that. And then I'll choose this. Okay, so let's do a few more. Mm 
Okay, and then I'll keep going. It's really hard to keep talking. <gasps> but right now I'm working on a retro journal. And I'm kind of working on three at once. But it's hard for me to concentrate on all three at a time. So <clears throat> I've been... Kind of focusing on one and then once I finish that one I'll focus on the other one I try to make it so that everything I do for one journal I'll do the same thing for the other journal but it's really hard for me I feel sometimes I start to feel like I'm not being creative enough which is generally my problem not just with crafting, but in general. Like, I used to write, and I would just try to get so creative that I would get too exhausted. It'd be really draining. And I think that's where I'm trying to draw the line between getting too detailed and well, I never am not detailed enough. But I'm trying to make it so that I'm detailed enough where I'm happy with what I'm doing, but I'm not so detailed where I'm just super exhausted. Okay, so let me go ahead and cut this, which is probably gonna be hard for you guys to see. So I'm filming on my phone and I think I'm really old school because when I first started watching videos, people would be filming on their phone and it wouldn't go past 15 minutes. But now I don't hear people talking about that anymore. So is that still an issue or is it everyone's using cameras so that's why I don't hear about it anymore I'm not sure so I'm just gonna go ahead and go over 15 minutes in this video and then see what happens okay you probably can't see you can barely see. I don't have enough depth on my desk. Okay. So I'll probably, I'll probably just cut a few more of these and then go on to another step. Okay. I'll just make this go this way since it's folding this way already. Okay, I didn't cut that. I measured I measured a little bit short, which I don't even know how I did that. But later, I'll go ahead and sew all this down. And then once I sew it down, I'm just gonna trim that little white part off. Okay. The other thing I did, which I did it with this, is that I used really this paper right here that's really vintage. It's very old and crackly. Actually, I probably even have the date right here. So what I'm trying to do lately is use things up and find a way to use things up. Copyright 1944. So this paper is very brittle, but I like the color. So what I did with it in this one is I took I took 
took this. That's two. Okay. I took this. And then I folded it over. And I'm going to put glue just in the very center of it. paper is seriously so brittle and it's okay if some of it rips off because we're gonna wrap tissue paper around it anyways okay I'm gonna do that and then I'm just gonna go ahead and trim it right now if you could it'll probably look nicer torn well, actually, it doesn't matter because we're covering it with tissue paper, but it will probably go faster if you just tear it with a roller. And then on these sides, I'm going to cut it. So I recently redid my craft table. Um, and it's really almost everything is within arm's reach and I also try to do it so that the cleanup is right there so nowadays like usually when I'm working on a project my desk is really super messy and it'll be messy until that project is done but lately I've been able to clean things up as I go because everything's in front of me. Like everything's either hanging over there or like in a row right here. And I have drawers on this side over here and my sewing machine's that way. And then I have ribbons hanging on the wall. So it, it's been making it really easy to craft and I feel a lot more productive. So I'll do that. And then I'll take some tissue paper which I'm sure we all have tons of this tissue paper. There's so much of it, it's like hard to handle. And then I will, I'm just gonna eyeball it. I'm going to take, let's see how far this goes. So I'm going to end up sewing it around. And the last one I did, it really overlapped. But you don't really need to overlap it. So even if I wanted to sew this much, I think it would still be enough. But let me just go ahead and... I'm going to cut it. I'm going to put that aside. Okay. I'm going to try to wrap it as best as I can. As you can see, I tend to, I tend to not measure twice and cut once. <laughs> okay, because there's a rip there. I think I'm going to turn it this way. Actually, I'm 
I'm just gonna start this way. I'm gonna put some glue right here. Just to keep it there before you have a chance to sew it. And then fold it again this way. Actually put some right here. And I'm gonna go ahead and overlap it just a little bit. And when I go ahead and sew it, I'm just gonna take a strip of fabric like this. And I have a lot of vintage fabric, like large sheets of it. So I've been trying to use that up too. And it works great in projects like this because there's so much of it and these you just need like a little bit so I'm gonna fold it over I usually sew a zigzag right here to make sure the edges of the fabric are sewn down and then I'll do straight stitch all around like this one and then once I'm done I cut off the edges like this part so this one's ready I'm just gonna go ahead and clip it right here And then let's go and, okay, so I have a few that I can sew already. So I'm not going to continue doing that step right now. So these can be sewn. This, I'm going to put it aside. And once I get them sewn, they look like this. So what I'm going to do is look for fabric, fabric strips. <laughs> This one is a little bit too long, so I'm just going to do this. I love vintage sheets. I love, find, I find a lot of them at the Goodwill outlet. I find a lot of pillowcases there and they're just super cute. And then I'll go ahead and sew a line right here. For these ones and usually these are pockets for me so I don't care that it's white um, but if you do then you can always use coffee dyed index cards so that goes there and what I've done so I have a lot of National Geographic magazines like this like a lot and there's ads in them so I go through and I really look for the ads or even like little snippets. Like if I see this right here, this part with this cool font, like this olden time font, then what I do is I cut out like a little square so that it includes that font and then like some random other stuff. And then I'll use that in the ad. Like I feel like this looks like very 50s too down here. So I'll use some of it. So what I've done is I went through and I pulled out some pages, which I already cut some ads. So there's this one, this one, and just different, like this isn't even an ad, but I liked the font. So I just kind of cut a square around it. And once I glue it on, like I like the look of that. Or, this is a little picture, so I'll just glue it on like that. But let's go ahead and look through here. Mm. See, these are cute down here, but that's a little bit big, I think. 
Yeah, it's kind of big. So I might save that for something else. But I think I like this part right here. So let me go ahead. Oh, but then I like the picture behind. <laughs> I kind of like this one and behind it there's nothing so let's cut that one out so let me cut the this section let's see what's on the top okay I could definitely use some of this right here so I am going to I'm just gonna go ahead and cut over like this. Okay. And I'm just gonna trim out the words. this is. I think I'm just gonna cut we have like three lines. It's so hard to cut straight. Hmm, that's kind of big. I don't like it to be that big. I'm going to cut, okay, this looks crooked to me. Okay, and then I'll just cut, leave one line. So what I'll do next is I'll go to my sewing machine and sew around this. And then I'll end up with just like a stack of them that I can put into anything. And sewing pattern stuff is nice because it's already this aged color usually. So you don't need to do anything for that. And it looks good with either an ad that's already aged looking or even an ad that is still white you know like it, it looks fine so I'll go ahead and get sewing and I'll try and upload this and see how it goes this is almost 30 minutes so I'll go ahead and just upload and see what happens Alright, but thank you for hanging out with me today and I will talk to you later. Bye!